In this video, I'm going to provide a little bit more background regarding the Unity Store and how you can download assets to use in the Unity projects that you're going to create. First, I'd like to start out in Unity itself. As we are working in Unity 2020 Plus, one thing that has changed is from previous Unity versions, you can no longer access the store directly inside of the Unity software package. In fact, if you go and you try to go under window, and open the asset store, you will actually get an error showing you that you need to open the asset store in the web browser. So what this means is in Unity, one of the things you're going to need to do is in the upper right hand corner under the account, when you made your account to download your Unity Hub and install Unity, you have the account already created. So you will want to make sure that you're signed into your account in the Unity software program. From there, you will want to go to assetstore.unity.com. And then you will also want to log into your account here as well. A couple of things to point out as far as the Unity Asset Store is concerned. Whenever you're working and you're downloading assets, you're going to have a section here called My Assets. If you actually just click on that, for example here, you can see I have all different assets that I have downloaded over time or added to my account. The one thing that Unity has is a very robust type of asset store. So for instance, if I go under assets and I go to 3D, you're going to see a lot of different 3D options here as far as the different categories. The one thing you're going to want to look for though is over on the right hand side as far as your filters, you want to look for free assets. Here you have multiple elements that you can download and add to your projects. So to give you a for instance here, if I go ahead and let's say I choose, oh let's say I choose this industrial set. If I click on this, you will have an add to my assets and then you can accept. At this point, you can either open it in Unity or you can go into Unity and download the asset package yourself. I'm going to demonstrate the second option here. So I'm going to hop back into Unity here and what you want to do is under the Windows drop-down menu, there is now underneath Asset Store an item called Package Manager. Now, by default, whenever you open this, you may actually see a window that looks more like this, where you're seeing the packages that were pre-generated that are included in a lot of Unity projects. However, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click on the drop-down and navigate to My Assets. This is where logging into your account becomes important. Because now, as you can see, what has happened is now you can see all of the different asset packages that I've downloaded or added to my account from the Unity Store over time. So now I could come in, for instance, and I could choose one of these packages here. So let's see, I had downloaded, actually we'll just use uh, the treasure box here. Once you select one, you're going to want to come in and down at the lower right hand side, you're going to want to download the package. And then finally, you're going to want to import the package. So here you can see all of the elements that are needed for the treasure box. And I'm going to go ahead and import. Now you can see if I X out, you should now see a folder that has been added into my project, where now if I actually scroll in a little bit, kind of come down to the ground here, I can click and drag and I can now place the new asset in the Unity environment. So Unity offers a great option as far as being able with their store to download a lot of free elements that are needed to create a video game so that you're not spending a lot of time having to actually create your own content.